All right, let's see if we can't get through this, buddy, okay? So. Well, I know for a fact all maps project the globe. Okay, you think all maps project the globe. Let's start at the beginning. Let's break this down. The coordinate system we're all familiar with is the geographic graticule. This is the gridded system of longitude and latitude lines that we use to map the Earth, right? Yeah, the lines on the map. Got it. So, it's measuring the Earth? Well, no, not, not exactly. It's actually based on angles to the stars. You see, the system is inherently spherical because it has a bisecting great meridian called your horizon. And using your horizon, you're taking angles to those stars as measurements, and you're computing distances based on those measurements using sine and cosine. It's tied to how we observe the sky, like how we take angles to the stars, specifically Polaris or Sun at a certain latitude, right? Okay, but if it's spherical, then it's measuring the shape of the Earth, right? No, 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 it's not measuring the Earth's shape. It's a coordinate system. Think of it as a way to plot positions based on angles, not on the actual shape of the Earth. But it's spherical, so it's saying the Earth is spherical? No, 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 no. haven't measured the Earth yet, haven't got to the Earth. It's spherical because of the way we take angles to the stars and the hemispherical way in which we view the sky. <laughs> not because it's trying to measure the Earth's shape. The system works based on nautical miles, whether you think the Earth is flat or round. It's all about the angles, right? So, it measures the angles of the Earth? <laughs> no, no, it's measuring angles to the stars. The Earth doesn't even factor into it. Just the stars and how we observe them. But if it's a coordinate system, isn't it measuring the Earth? <laughs> No, the coordinate system is based on a spherical model because that's how the angles to the stars are calculated. It doesn't measure the Earth at all. It's like using a clock to measure time, right? It's based on the content of time, but it doesn't measure anything physical. Is that a good analogy? So, it's not measuring the Earth, but it's spherical because of the Earth? Oh my god, no. It's spherical because of the stars. The stars. It's all about the stars. The shape of the Earth isn't even considered in what we've gone through when we're using this coordinate system. But why is it on maps then? Because maps are how we represent this system on a flat surface. It's like drawing the sky on a piece of paper. It's not the sky itself. It's just a way to show where things are, are based on those angles to the stars. The longitude and latitude gridded network lines function as points and beacons from which, from which to measure other lines, points that are computing distance on the Earth based on the sky. So, the maps are measuring the sky? No, <laughs> no, the maps aren't measuring anything. They're just showing positions using the graticule, which is based on star angles. It's a model. No Earth, no measurements, just a grid, some lines, and the stars. Right? You with me? But it's still a map of the Earth, right? You know what? You're probably right. 